They say every crisis brings an opportunity, but this is a unique case. The country that caused this crisis seems to be the only one that is finding the opportunity. Chinese companies are scouting for distressed assets. What are distressed assets? These are companies that need money to survive, which is a lot of companies in today's time. China is ready to spend money, and their latest hunting ground is Europe. Countries like Spain and Italy, they are on China's radar. Two of the worst affected countries in the world. First, China exported the virus and now it seems to profit or it seeks to profit from it. Chinese companies are already selling coronavirus supplies, masks, ventilators and more. Even faulty ones. Now they want to take over Europe's businesses. The plan is to buy foreign companies at throwaway prices. Reports say global bankers are getting multiple requests. Chinese companies are making these queries. They are looking for investment opportunities, particularly in Europe. And this includes China's state-owned enterprises, meaning the government. They are the ones making the moves. First in Australia and now in Europe, there is a threat of hostile takeovers from China. European governments are concerned, their economies are vulnerable, businesses want bailouts. Where will the money come from? And this is easy prey for China. So European governments are now upping their defenses. They want to protect companies in key sectors. They're so concerned that in the middle of this deadly pandemic, they are amending laws. European governments are now coming up with new foreign investment rules in the middle of this crisis. Let me give you the example of Italy. On Monday, Italy announced curbs on foreign takeovers. The decision covers sectors like banks, insurance, energy and healthcare. We have provided the country with a very effective tool to protect all companies that carry out some activity of even minimal strategic importance in our country by imposing new obligations of financial transparency. In particular, we have strengthened the instrument that is technically called the golden power. Through it, we will therefore be able to control what are possibly hostile corporate operations Hostile takeovers, not only in the traditional sectors such as critical defense infrastructures, but also in the finance, banking and insurance sectors. We extended it to energy, transportation, water, health and food safety too, and to artificial intelligence, robotics and cyber security. Spain too has some new rules. Now, if a foreign firm wants to invest more than 10% in a Spanish company, they must get the government's approval. This is new, the new rule. Then we have Germany. Germany, too, has strengthened a law that would make foreign takeovers harder. Checks on foreign investments are set to increase in Germany. The new rules say that investments that could cause likely harm, quote unquote, to the public system will be reviewed, which means that any major foreign investment will need the government's nod. And this is a very important story. It's a wake-up call for the world. Fight the virus, but at the same time, fortify your defenses, because by the time you're done controlling the China virus, China may be controlling your businesses.